Hello. Practicing mindfulness and paying more attention to being present and what's actually happening right now can have some remarkable effects you may not expect. We're constantly told as we grow up and go through our adult life that we should play to our strengths and understanding our strengths and weaknesses can help us be more successful. However, that idea leaves out the fact that we grow and develop as time goes on. For example, for many years, I've told people I'm an introvert. And as I develop my mindfulness practice more and more, I realize that quite honestly, my idea of being an introvert was based on my own sense of self and my insecurity. I actually like people, but I was afraid of what they would think of me. And that's about me, not them. My practice has allowed me to be more secure in who I am, and so less insecure in public. It allowed me to jump on a stage in front of a thousand people and be okay. Well, pretty okay. I never would have believed I could do that 15 years ago. I still need time to regenerate after an event, and meditation does play a role in that, but it isn't really my message here today. What I want to tell you is that these old beliefs, these old rubrics of focus on your strengths and not on your weaknesses, actually means that we're focusing on our weaknesses and how bad we are at things, or how we could never achieve something because we're not good enough. But as humans, we're constantly evolving and we're missing opportunities. Focusing on those weaknesses distracts us from being who we could be. For example, we might believe that we're bad at math. So naturally, we wouldn't go into science or economics or accounting because those require math. So we don't allow even the thought of doing that. We may think because we're uncomfortable with people, we would be bad at sales or marketing or public speaking, but it's a lie we tell ourselves to keep us from maybe getting hurt, taking a risk, or just doing it, maybe being successful. We do the same with our strengths. Let's say, for example, that our strength is we got all A's through school. We worked hard and we focused on that grade and we succeeded. Then in the workplace, when we get a review that's slightly negative or maybe even a little critical, our self-criticism kicks in and we beat ourselves up. Sometimes we even quit the job because we can't face the fact that we didn't get an A. We may be really good at skiing, and then we hit a mogul or a bump, we fly through the air and we land on our butt. Does that make us a failure? Even the best skiers fail. They learn from it. They get up. They keep trying, don't they? Now, I'm not saying that knowing our strengths and weaknesses is not a good idea, so we can work on them. That's just smart. It's how we approach working with those strengths and weaknesses that needs to be addressed. If we fail, does our self-critical monster come out? Or do we treat ourselves with compassion, as we would treat a friend in the same circumstance? Understanding that we can build trust and support in ourselves when things get tough allows us to be more confident and strong as human beings. It also gives us more flexibility to expand our approach and our vision for our future because we can see our strengths and weaknesses so we can build on them. Opening our minds to see new opportunities we would have closed the door on otherwise. In the end, being present offers us more resilience and happiness. When we can see the world is full of possibilities instead of limits. Now take a moment and think about the last time you hurt yourself. When you said, I can't do that, or I'm not smart, they won't like me, I can't, whatever. Was it really true? Or was it a story that you told yourself to get out of trying? So next time you hear the self-critical monster come out, notice it, and then be present with whatever is going on. Ask yourself, is this true? Ask yourself, is this an opportunity to grow? Before you say no, or I can't do it, take a breath and give yourself a moment to consider whether this is something you want to do or if you're making excuses because you don't want to do it. If it's something you want to do, then think about how you could do it. Stop shutting doors and allow yourself opportunities to be happy by developing trust in yourself.
Thank you.